What's up, y'all? This is Aquarius Roberts back at it again on the Peace Diller channel with Divinity Unleashed, bringing you your weekly forecast for uh, July 10th through the 17th. I hope you guys had a decent week. Um, I decided to incorporate more, more visual astrology into this and tarot. So uh, let us begin. So the sun is in cancer right now, conjunct the part of fortune, uh, basically highlighting because the sun is the most important because that is our soul and this is our soul's development of where our soul is, is um, inspired to be right now. Uh, sun conjunct, well, let's talk about the part of fortune because it's going to just bring the rest of this chart together because the part of fortune is the gold at the end of the rainbow, right? It's like your emotional fulfillment. What makes you happy? What If you focus on this energy right here, um, you can fulfill emotional desires. It's like the Ten of Cups, basically, you know, that emotional fulfillment and that uh, success within your environment, right? And so this is now in Cancer conjunct the sun. Okay, so part of fortune conjunct the sun in Cancer is what emotionally makes you happy. It almost seems like it's it's a time for freeing ourselves from emotional uh, baggage, right? Because uh, that's what Cancer is all about. They're about, you know, they're water. So they tend to hold on to things a lot, right? Um, and don't, you know, um, kind of want to kind of want to swim in the deep side and kind of get into their emotions a lot, feeling things, right? And so uh, part of fortune conjunct the sun in the chart uh, in, in cancer is basically, it is time for you to fulfill your emotional desires. It is a, a it is a time for learning more about what makes you happy. Simply put, what makes you happy? What are your beliefs? What is going to ease your situation to make it more, you know, uh, emotionally happy for you? Okay, so um, we get into the moon right now is transiting in Taurus, uh, which is uh, the most nurturing sign, right? Um, and then we have Uranus in Taurus, also opposite Scorpio, um, and opposite Jupiter, wow, uh, opposite Jupiter, uh, and with a trine going on between the Sun, Jupiter, and Neptune in Pisces retrograde, right? And then Jupiter's retrograde also, so actually today of the 10th, uh, Jupiter will be going back direct. Happy, happy times for everyone. I'm actually a Sagittarius rising, so my ruler has been actually retrograde for a while. So this has been quite an intriguing move um, for, for me, for you guys, for everyone right now. We have been developing our own self-belief within inside ourselves. This is not really projected towards the outside when Jupiter had went uh, retrograde. It was more uh, in the inside. So it was like, what is your self philosophy? And how are you carrying yourself out into the world to develop what you want? What's going to make you, and, and back to Sun conjunct part of fortune, what is going to make you happy? You know what I mean? What is going to make you happy? Your beliefs may hinder you from your true happiness, from your true soul development of happiness. So Jupiter in retrograde and Scorpio is the, Scorpio is the emotionally strong sign, right? And so moon is in Taurus. So this is about caring, caring. And the moon is only there for another day. Um, and I think actually on the 10th, because I'm looking at the 9th, but on the 10th, uh, it will be in Gemini. Right. So this is uh, it will be this communication with self. Right. And commun how you communicate with others in your environment with the moon coming into Gemini. Right. So um, right now, right now, as I'm seeing in this chart, 
with this um, earth trine that we have. And then we also have a water trine, right? So when we think of earth and water together in a chart, um, we're thinking of uh, watering plants, right? So that they'll grow for the future, right? So this is about clocking in for a harvest. Um, clocking in for a harvest, but Mars is in Aquarius giving you ideas. It's retrograde, right? And so Aquarius is the most direct sign, right? It's And it's all about the future. It's all about conscious evolution, conscious evolution. We have Mars there in Aquarius right now, bringing this this um, assertiveness on how you react to things in the community, right? Because, you know, I've said many, many times, we are on a soul development to become into oneness. So right now, it's a very important time uh, for us all as, as a community, as a, as a people, because we're all learning how we are asserting ourselves, how we are putting our desires out there into the world, you know, and, 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 and what, what is our attention being paid? You know, what, what, what attention are we paying to things right now? You know what I mean? Or what's important, right? Um, Mercury is in Leo and actually Mercury will be going retrograde in Leo uh, soon here. Um, and Mercury is the sign of communication. It's the formulator, the scientist, right? Okay, so Mercury is always trying to integrate new ways of idealizing things or to give it as principles, right? I think of Mercury as like the principle maker, you know, because it rules Hermes. And Hermes was the great philosopher. He made the principles. He made numerology. He, he taught people about the science arts, you know, and the spiritual arts, basically. So um, he was a formulator and he wanted to know his environment that he was in. What he was in. So Mercury is very much about your environment and how you are in your environment, right? Mentally, as a consciousness, as a people, as a one, right? So uh, Mercury in Leo is being creative about your environment, right? Simpl sim simply said, it's being creative within your environment, right? How are you being creative within your environment? What is making your what is making your life better right now? You know what I mean? How do you take pride in, in your environment? It's like caring. This thing is like caring more about what's important to you. You know what I mean? And and putting that out there that so people know this is you, this is me. Uh, Mercury and Leo is, is creatively expressing yourself, right? So this is like a perfect time because Mercury rules the mind. So this is a good mindset and time for people who are creatively trying to um, deal with emotional problems, right? Because um, there is a sun opposition Pluto, which Pluto is also in retrograde, which is the surgeon. And so Pluto's retrograde, um, Pluto's in retrograde right now in Cancer, what's real, right? Uh, changing your philosophy on what's real with Pluto retrograde, but your own philosophy. This is like everybody's looking at their self right now and seeing what's, what's, what, what are we doing as a society? What are we doing as a, as a people right now, right? And so Chiron is in Aries, and everybody knows that Aries is the self sign, right? It's about your self identity. It's about how you assert yourself. It rules. The ruler is Mars, actually. Um, so Mars is uh, its ruler is in Aquarius, right? So um, so it's about your creative expansion on your on your ideas for the future. Right, you have to heal the past to be able to move on into the future. That's why Mars is retrograde in Aquarius. So Aquarius is about the future. It's about you know what I mean, and knowing, knowing, and not thinking. Right, just being in a state of being. Right, so the state of being takes you to be able to release certain things that are not important to you. Right, um, so uh, Pluto retrograde 
and it retrograde opposite the sun is like and then the sun is conjunct the part of fortune bringing trying to bring your emotional happiness to the core but cutting away pluto retrograde is cutting the way cutting the ways habits old habits that are not working for you habits that you've been using in reality like um i don't trust people right but the truth is if you don't trust people then how are you going to connect with people to get your ideas out there right you can't connect with people and people don't want to help somebody who doesn't trust anybody right and so this is what pluto is doing in this retrograde it's like what do i know in aquarius what do i know uh, what do i know about how i'm carrying myself in in this world and is this really fulfilling me is this making me emotionally happy in my situation that i can truly you know what i mean evolve right and so when you're evolving into a butterfly certain things have to be let go and when you're in that cocoon when you turn in and, and you turn into a butterfly and you break free from the cocoon the cocoon is now dead it is a dead carcass now right and so you have to leave those old habits away so that they can introduce new platforms right new platforms into your life right uh so this is like a, a big time of healing it's healing chiron and aries is healing people it's healing people from the childhood wounds right and the things that you've been holding on to so much in your life right and then moon's going in gemini so this is like self this is like that communication with others so if you want to talk to somebody about how you feel this is a perfect time to do that also uh uranus uranus opposite uh scorpio right so i i was actually talking to a friend about this and uranus is actually in taurus right so taurus is the most um physical strong sign right or they deal with being physically strong right um and they have to come to that you know what i mean just really being strong about their life and taking the tides of the times right where scorpio the opposite sign is about emotional uh strength right it's about um just it's it's like the king of cups right the king of cups is um actually scorpio is a water card so but he wears the fish around his neck so the fish around his neck is his emotional uh, he's like he's like he's not he's not overly overly um doing things he's not overly taking things too far right and dealing with the sun and cancer if we know cancers cancers are like the most moody sign they're like one minute they're happy next minute they're not you know what i mean so cancers actually you guys this is definitely for you guys cancers and capricorn also this is for you guys also because everybody's going through a new awakening right and so you can't deal with things uh, it, you know these both of these signs actually cancer and capricorn both hold in things right now now capricorn might be um more direct about it and tell you like hey this is what i don't like but i do know of capricorns holding things in and then unleashing the dragon later right they just build it up you know what i mean and 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 it becomes a it becomes a thing but cancer the the other sign the sister sign of uh capricorn is um like invertedly implosive right so implosions right this is about implosions this is about what you get angry about what do you get mad mars is in retrograde what do you know do you know what you get angry about in aquarius mars and aquarius retrograde do you know aquarius what you're angry about mars retrograde what are you angry about what takes you off emotionally is this making you happy is this really taking you where you want to be in life moon and moon will be in gemini actually so it'd be like communicate with others if you want to go like I, i think this is just a great time for like if you need to go talk to somebody you got a lot of stress on you because we got a earth trend and we got a water trend so we're producing new crops for the future new harvest 
Neptune is in retrograde also helping you to keep it real with yourself, keep it real with those around you and keep it real with yourself, right? So um, Venus is actually in Leo also about to step out of Leo, Leo and it's 29 degrees right now, which is a karmic degree right now. So this is a very uh, important time currently before it steps in the Virgo. And so when, when Venus goes out of Leo into Virgo, it's going to become more, it's going to become more, I need to be more, more, uh, it's like facing that mental, facing your mental wants, right? Because Virgo is all about mental health, right? So Venus here is like care for your mental health, right? To take it more easy on yourself because Virgo is a sign that's very, uh, can be very um, 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 mentally over the top, actually, you know, because of the anxiety that they can incorporate in their life, worrying about things that haven't happened yet, you know what I mean, um, but could happen. So it's like they're trying to protect themselves or, or build the tools because that is Virgo is all about the tools and, you know, uh, the things you use to get things accomplished. So Venus is about the wants, your wants and desires, right? So going into Virgo, it's like you want to articulate what you want. You're very precise about what you want, but the anxiety comes to are, am I really going to, am I really going to be able to get this accomplished? You know, because Venus is a service sign. Virgo is a service sign also, right? So Venus is like, um, is like um, giving beauty and, and, and social accommodation to others, right? Uh, and then Virgo is about, you know, um, caring for others, nurturing for others, giving, giving, giving light to your community or the, you know, um, to your relationships. I also uh, call Virgo like one of the most uh, damper, you know, uh, signs actually, you know what I mean? They're like the, you know, bow tie types, you know, uh, give you flowers and stuff and, you know, really think about you, you know, so Venus here is like giving that care to the things that you're hard on yourself about. You know what I mean? The things that you're mentally hard on yourself about. It's time to clear that up because this phase right here is very big on healing, right? Because Chiron is in Aries and that's just like any, for me, anything that's in Aries or that's transiting in Aries is like a highlight because it's like, this is what comes to the forefront because Aries is me first, right? I am me, right? So it's like, what goes first? Chiron is in Aries. So the theme of all of this is your healing from your emotional past, your emotional wounds, things that are not helping you uh, move forward into this, this bright future that we're stepping into. So that is your astrology reading for now. So let's step into the tarot. <laughs> so I hope you guys are enjoying. So let's see what we can get for the 10th to the 17th. All right. What could you tell me about the 10th through the 17th of July? What advice can you give me and the people for July 10th through the 17th? July 10th through the 17th. July 10th through the 17th, July 10th, through the 17th, all right, cool, so I got two cards that fell out, actually, and I want to talk about these two first, all right, so we got the two of wands here, and uh, this guy has the world in his hands, right, but it almost seems like He's looking off of his castle. So he has this castle. He has everything that he wants. But he has um, 
uh, this new energy, basically, because it's a two card, so it's about duality, right? So it's about making choices. It's about having a choice to do something new with your energy. Um, you have, com it, it almost seems like with the world, you know, kind of reminds me of the world card. So a sense of completion, a sense of satisf satisfactory in overcoming some hard times and now being refreshed with new energy and wanting to know what to do with this energy, wanting to know how you can make things better for yourself, right? And so, boom, uh, the second card is the Knight of Swords. And so he is a revolutionary and an idealist. So it, I feel like there's an emphasis on mental thought right now and how we, communicate with others and how we're getting our ideas out there are we forceful with them are we hurting people you know what i mean like uh it's time to take note and understanding and what you're how you're evolving or how you're projecting yourself and also this is about rushing too it's about taking your time you know um a lot of people rush to get things accomplished and they need to slow it down so um, your shadow card is the lover's card, right? So I was speaking earlier about, you know, your relationships with others. And funny, this is actually Gemini ruled. Uh, and Gemini is about to, uh, I'm sorry, Mercury, Mercury ruled. And Mercury is actually about to go retrograde. Um, so this is about choice in relationships, wanting to build better relationships. It's almost like that separation from the people who are not helping you, the people who are not there, you know what I mean? And, and this is a big evolution right here. So this will be going on longer than a week, but this is just the energy that's flowing through this week right now, you know what I mean? Going into the next several months, actually, um, um, and possibly years, you know what I mean? Because Chiron will be in Aries, I think, for at least four years uh, or so. So, you know, this is like building better relationships, uh, connecting with your soul family, your soul ties, your soul friends, you know, that'll take you into the future, you know what I mean? And help you get to where you want to go to help you release these ideas that you feel are so important and that need to be heard by society, right? Mars retrograde in Aquarius, that's all about that. You know what I mean? How you're directing your energy into your society, what you're directing your energy into. Are you building great relationships? Are you putting good energy into good relationships, right? What energy are you putting into these good relationships? It's all a cosmic choice, and we all have choices to make. Some of us don't try to decide not to decide at all, which is like the two of swords. I don't want to decide the situation, so I'm just going to put this blindfold on, even though I can just put the swords down and take the blindfold off. I choose, you know, that's why the crescent moon is in back of the two of swords, just a different way of looking at it, you know what I mean? Because that new beginning is right, is right behind that lady, right, in the two of swords. The, the new beginning is right behind that lady, but she's not, she's just not choosing you know what I mean? To take the blindfold off and see the new beginnings around her. She's like, I'd rather not decide on this right now, right? The King of Swords came up as I was talking about this. So the King of Swords, and I'm just freestyling because that's what I do sometimes. But the <laughs> the King of Swords, I mean, King of Wands. The King of Wands, he is the most creative king, right? But there's the interesting thing about the King of Swords uh, this week is that it's it's more creativity, right? So we thought of Mercury and Leo, you know, um, and, and just being creative about yourself and expressing yourself more. He's very expressive. He's a good friend. He's a very accommodating person. You know what I mean? He actually comes up for me a lot, actually, because I'm saccharizing. So like as I'm going through life, so, you know, you could be dealing with actual uh, Sagittarius type or just wanting to be free more. I don't want to make it so literal because this is like a community type thing. So it's like, um, yes, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a fire rising type person this week, but 
for what I feel with this energy is just being more spontaneous, right? And not being stuck to your old ways and opening up to new ways of being and being more creative about life, right? And what you're dealing with and your ideas and how you're asserting them in the world and how you even, how you even forgive, right? Using creative ways to forgive. Like, you know, it's hard. It's, it's hard to truly forgive somebody. And so sometimes emotionally we have to psych ourselves out you know what I mean and and not in a negative way but you know just like if you have a lot of negative thoughts and you want more positive thoughts you are going to start even though the negative thoughts are coming up you're going to start telling yourself hey that's not true this is not right you know what I mean I know how I feel I know how I think I don't need nobody you know what I mean I don't need you brain because there's a lot of this retrograde I don't need you brain telling me what's real you know oh no 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 you can't do this that's not you you know what i mean no that is me because this is and this that's using creativity you know listening to affirmations is finding creative ways you know working out you know what i mean fasting um eating healthy you know because our bodies literally um i'm, I'm actually vegan so like our bodies literally can't take certain things and it makes us feel down and it doesn't make us feel free. This king right here is a free king, but also bigger than that, what I say about the king is that he is the most, he is the most guided by spirit, by the divine, right? So he is not, he is not, his power doesn't come from man. It comes from spirit, right? And so he looks for no, he looks to not fit in. He, he looks to not fit in with anybody else but spirit, you know what I mean? Because this is where his power comes from. So that is awesome. So, you know, it's just a time, maybe a, a week to get more creative. Jupiter is going direct, you know what I mean? So it's time to get more spontaneous. What can I say about this Jupiter going direct this week? That's a big one, right? Uh, Jupiter going direct because we need that energy. What can I, what can I say about Jupiter going direct? What can I say about Jupiter going direct? Jupiter going direct. Jupiter going direct. Ah, ah. All right, so I got three cards here for Jupiter going direct. One is the Ten of Swords right? I like this card um, for Jupiter going direct because it's like coming out of them hard times, right? Coming out of them hard times because Jupiter is all about like expansion, luck, but when it's in retrograde, you have to do the work yourself, right? Now it's this self-motivation, you know what I mean? You got to find out what you truly believe in. Uh, the spirits don't just guide you, you know, when it's direct, spirits kind of just guide you on the flow, on the track, but when it's not, it's like you need to think about this and you need to change the way that you have been philosophizing with your life. So here it's like coming out of um, old torment because, you know, uh, Sagittarius is a very like expressing sign. So they always are expressing themselves, you know what I mean? Um, or experiencing, sorry, I said expressing, experiencing experience time they learned they're like the hard heads you know what i mean i gotta learn from experience don't just tell me something so it's like you can tend to bump your head a lot and go through things a lot right um and then friends friends feeling like friends stabbing you in the back right um feeling like people are pressuring you or are you know what i mean you know the pressure the swords in his back feeling that pressure and that agony and that pain from people harming you or trying to hurt you right uh chiron and aries right now so um, um, healing from them, them, them wounds from the past and breaking free to that new dawning up here, right? It's time to break free for a new dawning. And I also got uh, the Ace of Cups that came up for this week. Uh, the Ace of Cups is all about new emotional fulfillment, right? So that new energy to create. Um, I look at the Aces like, you know, especially with Jupiter, it's like, it is luck, but you gotta, you gotta reach out for it. You know what I mean? You gotta reach out for that luck and that love that you can have, right? So um, the Ace of Cups right here is like new emotional opportunities. Maybe you might meet a new friend. 
uh, maybe you might feel inspired to do new things now, you know, this week. But yes, I almost feel like that because the next card is the Page of Wands. And so once again, he's like a self-starter kit. This is like Aries, Sagittarius, Leo right here. So uh, you could be dealing with a person or you could just have a spark of new creativity, a new idea that's coming up this week. Um, just new spontaneity. All this is very, um, this is like closing of the endings. And then this is like the new beginnings. And then this is like the energy you get from this new emotional. So, you know, cause it's been hard with all these retrogrades. So I'm glad, you know, Jupiter is coming out of, coming out of retrograde, but Mercury is going into retrograde. So let me pull something for Mercury going into retrograde. What can I say about Mercury retrograde? This Mercury retrograde in Leo. Mercury retrograde in Leo, what can I say? Mercury retrograde in Leo. Mercury retrograde in Leo, right? As I was speaking earlier about finding creative ways to to make decisions, right? Here's that two of swords with the duality. And I was talking about uh, the crescent moon uh, that, that's behind them that stands for new beginnings, new emotional beginnings, but not trying to make a decision, right? Um, so needing to find a more creative way to do things and the ace of cups also knocked out of here again. So, you know, um, this is that Leo creativity right here. This card is not ruled by Leo, but just thinking about, uh, uh, emotions, emotions, um, basically work well with creativity, right? So when you got new emotional ideas, it makes you creative. It makes you want to use that and flow and write letters and you know what I mean? And tell people you love them and that you care and, and give yourself compassion even. Definitely give yourself compassion. That is very necessary within this world. You know what I mean? So I hope definitely all that's going on. But this is your weekly reading. I hope you guys enjoyed. I shall see you next week. Until next time, love, light, beauty and all that good stuff and thank you if you would like to book a reading with me aquarius roberts please go on www.divinityunleashed.life all right and then also uh you can check me out on my youtube um at uh divinity unleashed where i teach the individual cards just an it's a new starting page um, so don't be baffled, but, uh, yeah, it's, um, basically teaching the tarot, you know, and, um, teaching people the different, a, a, a new original way to go about it where you can apply it in your life. So this is Aquarius Roberts. I'm out. Peace, love, and all that good stuff.